Wooden FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 5-1 win over Maystone United in the National League South. We said about a response from the last time we played him, Adam. I think that was a pretty good one. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, you, you go into the game and honestly you, you're not surprised. You know that our group of players are more than capable of uh, producing uh, a performance and a result like that. Um, you know, the frustration would be that um, can we do that on a, on a regular basis? Um, and that consistency that we've been talking about now, I mean, you for, it seems like eternity, but no, it's, yeah, obviously really delighted. Um, you know, we got humbled at their place and we was on a good run when we turned up there. Um, so to, to beat second in the league 5-1 is um, uh, a great achievement. It was an outstanding performance as well. It was worthy at its best. Some of the goals, you could talk us through a couple of those, the move to the third goal was out of this world. Oh yeah, it's hard to, to remember them all just off the cuff like that. But no, I think um, even like 11 v 11, we, we missed a couple of really good chances and Lucas made a good save. Um, so, um, you know, when they went down to 10, we knew that we would then have even more of the ball and um, it's important that we was productive with it. Um, disappointed to concede a goal like we did, but I think in the main, um, like I say, there was some really good football and some really good performances and yeah, just hoping that one or two can get a bit of confidence from today. It has to be a bit creative with the lineup today, with the two central midfielders, or by trade anyway, centre midfielders playing at the fullback roles. But it seemed like it worked really well. Joe Felix and Nicky Wheeler bombing on from that. What was the thinking behind that decision? Well, yeah, just um, I think like Finney Chadwick's one of our best um, lads that are attacking it in the air, and just obviously um, a bit wary of the long balls that they cause us some problem with at their play. So I wanted him in the centre to go and attack it for us, um, and then obviously. We uh, brought Yudoka in and he got injured um, on Thursday, so we then needed to have a look at the centre-half positioning. So Joel has filled in there brilliantly all season, so to have um, him do that and a day slotted in at right back. But yeah, no, it's, it's a little tweak to, to the system, but it's paid off and you know, you've know got to play um, the, the players full credit. We worked on a couple of things on Thursday night and they've implemented it brilliantly today. Saying about individual performances out there, we keep talking about him at the moment because he keeps scoring goals. Another hat trick for Ollie Pierce. No, oh, yeah, um, I think he'll come away disappointed. He hasn't got a couple more, to be honest. But that's the the nature of, of the player, and you know, it's I'm obviously delighted for him. Um, you know, we did bring some some players in, and you know, I thought they was doing better start of the season, and um, you know, got me. Uh, People negative comments on that and not starting him, but you know what a right way to respond. And you know he's you, you know that when he gets confident, um, he can score goals. He's, he's done it for us time and time again. And like I say, I'm just delighted that he's now full of confidence. And if we can get a couple more players up there with him that can um, get confident, um, you know, there's there's no stopping us. I think goal scoring has, has never been a problem for us. We've always created chances. Um, I'd say it would have been nice to, to get a clean sheet and that's got to be a real focus for us now. One other goal scorer you mentioned to get a few more in, but Jay Robinson back from injury today and as he likes to do on his return gets a goal. Yeah, that goal just typified Jake for me. A hell of a ball in and he's always there off the shoulder and times his movement perfectly. Uh, and you know, it's just a nice ice and ice cold finish, um, which you expect from Jake really. But no, there's some really good performances. I think uh, Joe Felix's work rate on the right hand side um, and Danny Cash, like his work rate today, um, I'm pleased he's got a goal as well. So yeah, just a general like um, work rate of the side was, was phenomenal today. I and mean, it's, it's the standard that we've got to set and we've got to maintain uh, that intensity to our game now um, when we play next, next, next Saturday. We said it on Thursday or Tuesday, sorry, but being this team's at its best, it can beat anyone. There's no better example of doing that performance against second place in the league. No, exactly that. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's frustrating to watch at times because you know they can produce that. Um, I thought the quality on the ball was excellent, the movement was excellent, uh, and the work rate um, to top it off. So, yeah, there's, there's lots to be pleased with. I think like even though the results and there seemed a bit of uh, neg negativity around the place, not so much in the change room, but we've been pleased with how we've been performing. The performances have been good. Um, 55 minutes at Western, we was, we was brilliant. You know, so obviously um, we're disappointed with one or two of the, of the score lines, but we've got to maintain that performance level and I'm sure the results will come. Thank you.